welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Lisa. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. And I'm glad y'all are all here with me today. I'm going to be tackling my kitchen. We're gonna be doing a deep clean in here. I've got wood cabinets and I have a special sol uh, solution that I make homemade that I'm gonna clean those with because we all know around the handles, especially they get grimy in the kitchen. So we will be doing that. Yes, I'm energized, I'm excited, and I'm so thankful y'all are here today. So let's just hop right on in, let's get this done, and then we can have some Christmas fun later. All right, I'll check back in with y'all in a little bit. A thousand times before Baby, it's now or never Gotta leave this town And I know what you're asking for For the special wood cleaner that I use, this works on all my wood trim, on my wood cabinets, it can work on wood furniture, it helps to restore the shine, it also helps to get the grime off and just polish it out really nice. I do not do it very often because you don't want the olive oil in the mixture to build up on your furniture, but this maybe twice a year I do. and. Uh, then it makes it easy to just wipe down weekly as you dust and clean. So you're going to need very hot water and then distilled white vinegar, olive oil, any kind of olive oil from your cabinet, and just a little bit of Dawn soap. So it's very similar to my outside window cleaning solution and that video I will link below. You just add the olive oil to the mixture as well. All right. I wish I could give you exact measurements, but I kind of mix and match, like just mix and pour. So very little Dawn soap, very little of the olive oil is needed. Because they separate, you have to stir it continually. You'll hopefully see that in the upcoming portion where I clean my cabinets. You will wipe it on and then you will wipe it off. 
Do not let it sit and saturate into your wood uh, because any type of water on your wood for prolonged periods will ruin it. So this is meant to kind of wipe on, wipe off method. Um, that's all we're gonna do and that's what's in it. So if you have any questions, just ask me in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you and guide you a little more in this whole process. Lost outside of nowhere A stormy rain tried to wash away the dream Staff one, it says a worn outside And the diner's name is California Dreams Hey Oh For as long as I remember It's been stuck inside my mind You can't ask me to surrender When reaching for the dream keeps me alive For as long as I remember It's been stuck inside my mind You can't ask me to surrender When reaching for the dream Wheels in motion 
Girls don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say getting inspired to get up and clean yet? I really hope so. I'm getting a lot done today and I'm glad you're here with me. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and like this video if you are enjoying it. And I'm trying to grow my channel and it takes every one of you. I appreciate everybody watching. But if you'll hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss another upload, I would greatly appreciate it so, so much. I have a lot more cleaning content coming, especially after the first of the year. A lot to do. There's always cleaning and I'm always here for it and I want you to be too. All right, let's get back to cleaning. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better, yeah. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better.
I just have to laugh at myself and can only say I'm surprised it doesn't happen more often. I forgot to hit record apparently and totally missed all the footage of me cleaning and polishing the sink. So if you want to see that, stick around. It'll be in another video because I do it often or go watch my very first video I ever published and it is in there. But yeah, here's the finished product and on we go. What can we do? We just laugh and keep going. Thank y'all so much for continuing to watch. If you've made it this far, drop me a comment so I know. down your counters and clean your sink. I'm a little obsessed with wiping my counters. I usually disinfect them at least once, twice a day, and then I usually wipe them down another once or twice. I just cannot stand personally there to be crumbs and sticky spots on my counter. So I'm just curious because I know I'm obsessed and would be curious what uh, other people do. So drop me a comment below. I always love hearing from you guys and respond to every single comment. I just wanna get out of here. I find it so hard to breathe. Cause when you get too close, I lose my way and I freeze. I wish you knew what power you have over me. But now it's so hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. Just get me out. Everything is all polished and shiny and clean. I feel like the camera doesn't pick it up sufficiently on how good it looks. These cabinets are original to our house, which was built in the mid 90s. And just with a little 
TLC, I have been able to keep them looking really good all these years. I'm so glad you joined me today. It made cleaning so much more fun. I feel productive. I hope that you're motivated and inspired to tackle your own chores today. I love it when y'all come back. I always have cleaning to do, so I will always be here to inspire you and motivate you. It's definitely more fun with friends. So thank y'all for being here. I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day, and we will see you again soon. I hate everything.